I think we will start. Uh, adopt most comfortable sitting or lying down postures according to your comfort. Making the meditation is our responsibility. And only if people can attend in at least few people, 10 plus, would be good, otherwise also fine. Then one person also will take a class for meditation. So let us relax. We'll make it as a journey of mind and thought to bring it within through the process of meditation. The psychology of meditation is to cultivate a single thought. Meditation is a natural necessity, necessity for the soul. When we meditate, we get a fresh mind and the mind rises from the body-mind concept to the infinite self where you have an access to a different plane of consciousness and will discover innovative ways of meeting challenges of daily life. Somewhere Shankaracharya says that meditation is a source of friction that kindles the fire of knowledge which completely burns up the fuel of ignorance. So let us meditate. Meditation is derived from the word meditari in Latin which means to heal. As I mentioned, psychology to derive to a single point. For this single point, we have to do dharana. Dharana is some point of focus. So let us focus our attention on the breathing. Simple. Intuitive focus on the breathing. Gentle breathing in and relaxed to breathe out. Gentle breathing in and relaxed to breathe out. Focusing on the breathing is one form of meditation which was adopted by Buddha. We call it as Anapanasati. Interestingly, people want to divert and change the Buddhist philosophy and the Hindu philosophy. But the first meditation technique of what Lord Shiva taught to Parvati was this. Out of Vijnana Vairava Tantras, 115, sorry, 112 meditation techniques. The first one was being aware of breathing. So interesting. On this mindfulness breathing, there are more than 194 research articles. So this story is to make your logical mind accept and acknowledge the power of meditation. Slowly being aware of breathing. Close your eyes. Closing your eyes. Being aware of breathing.
the first thing what we experience is more distraction if we are new to the meditation that's all right that's very much acceptable let us experience that so a feeling of throat clearing a feeling of thought want to experience the external senses a feeling of not in comfort at the physical body and the common initial hurdles of meditation let it be that is accept simple breath awareness with a story a simple story simple philosophy which makes us experience the relaxation response indirectly so be attentive to the words and experience deep relaxation from within every spiritual process has three stages the first stage where the seeker seeks impulsively to find an expression by doing outward act of worship and adoration his or her god is outside they resort to temples churches images symbols songs hymns chanting fasting pilgrimage pilgrimage this an effort to capture an intimation of the eternal through the concrete and the grass feel the story feel where we are striving after this phase of seeking that's the first stage the kinder garden of religion second stage is an inward contemplation just like how your internal internalizing the senses and trying to contemplate on your breath similarly the seeker feels the presence of god within in this phase there is a little external expression and very little noise associated with the phase one this is where the true religion begins purer and purer heart just like what you're experiencing right now will increase the ability to experience the pull of divine within 
like a joyous communication on the soul with god and every practice of meditation will become delightful right now what you are experiencing is like a pause or the silence between the music it is absolutely important for us to acknowledge and experience the music your breathing has become very automatic relaxed synchronized when synchronized breathing it can reduce the number of thoughts as two of the research says if you block the source of five sense stimulation through major majorly from the eyes and from the ear are able to reduce significant number of thoughts so what you are experiencing right now is that and the story goes on the stages of spiritual life first phase first stage second stage and third stage third stage you feel the fullness of realization the seeker sees god within in contemplation and also without the seeker can see the god in the field of action so whatever he or she does in their day to day life will be the fullness of realization the so practical application of this is when you are able to enjoy the joy of meditation with the eyes closed and time by and by to the experience and increase in your insight you will be able to experience the meditative state even when you are in action even when you have opened your eyes so interestingly i call this as open eye meditation there you are not giving just some time for meditation but you are into the meditation throughout and for your object of adoration or ishta devata your breathing becomes the prayer and every process of any spiritual journey goes through this three stages in any religion and this spiritual thriving several thousands of people few of them strive for perfection of these three stages out of thousands of that striving for perfection very few realize the truth of my true being and then at that stage of realization all those beautiful shlokas or the self realized verses will come to the minds of that seeker like for vivekananda it is renunciation and service the single motto bahu jana hitaya bahu jana sukhaya
so feel that by simply listening to a story or philosophy by being attentive you are full of dharana and this dharana of being able to focus on your breathing it self transcends into a meditation for few seconds during the storytelling feel your body is experiencing a complete deep relaxation that there is a release of endothelial nitric oxide into your blood stream that has a opposite effect as that of stress response this endothelial release of nitric oxide what we call it as the relaxation response is a wonderful coping skill that we need to adopt for parasympathetic stimulation as and when required for you and you choose a suited meditation technique for your kind of mind you are experiencing a withdrawal of the senses where the mind rests and rejuvenates and this sensory withdrawal we can call it as self detachment so this self detachment what you are experiencing right now will increase your general perception of the mind and there is an increase in the general perception of mind it produces a clear self perception a clear self perception into this meditative feeling or meditativeness is like in breathing of the soul so you have touched upon or experiencing the soul aspect through this psychologically you are experiencing a powerful cultivation of single thought and in this cultivation of single thought there is less effort or it is effortless so all the worldly knowledge can be acquired through a single thought concentration technique and for you to experience a supra sensory perception a perception beyond five senses it needs to be non logical and effortless that is possible by the meditation and any object of adoration or object of focus you give we can make meditation out of it so with this experience of deep relaxation you direct that deepening of relaxation throughout the body
it is like you are transcending beyond the body mind complex towards your in breathing of the soul or autonomic nervous system and beyond that is what you connect with your infinite self in this infinite self there are different planes of consciousness at different stages of mind and if you can receive that plane of consciousness in your physical being or in your mind you can conceive new ideas new work new perception which will be useful for yourself and based on what you have acquired a knowledge throughout these many years with the blessing or insight of the newer rise of consciousness you can do the best job for the place where you are working in and this innovativeness or this creativity is the gift of the in breathing of your own soul let us hope that you experience a new plane of consciousness and discover innovative ways of meeting the challenges of your life and your workplace throughout this week let your work be successful let your work be accepted acknowledged by your team lead let your work get transformed into the beneficial module or innovative formula or diet to the beneficiaries or the clients let us grow with this saraswati of your knowledge and let the leaders of the company which you are working in make wealth out of it in the way they are striving for so this brings in the contentment of you being into this organization and contentment for the leader to make your presence used better for the organization with this clarity of self perception and self detachment let us come back to body consciousness the experience of floating feeling is what the ultimate goal what we might have experienced so we come back to body consciousness take a deep breath in relax breathe out be aware of your physical body gently move your fingertips toes stretch yourself if you can right now you have experienced a restoration of your well being at the physical mental spiritual level by you just focusing on your breathing and reaching to your inner core of your soul or your autonomic nervous system is a partly an extension of your soul which is in line with universal mind
have a good day to you take care of yourself so come back to complete consciousness a totally alert totally relaxed have a good day namaste